Hi everybody, it's Joe Krug from FinSuite. In this video, we're covering the dropdown icon with a dropdown opens element trigger. What we're going to be doing is expanding and collapsing FAQs while also playing a Lottie icon animation to indicate an open and close. So look how we are expanding and collapsing the content. We are changing the position of our Lottie icon and it has this nice custom feeling movement. This is totally possible with IX2 creating this type of icon animation. But with the Lottie icon implementation, we have a lot less steps and it's a lot more simple. Let's see how this works. First, we're gonna go into Navigator, see what we have going on in there. We are using the native Webflow element the native Webflow asset here. Let's see, it is this right here. We must use this dropdown to make this walkthrough work. If you're using something else, this walkthrough is not for that. So we have the native component here. And when we open up, we have the dropdown click. This is where the user is clicking to expand the content to run that animation and we have the drop down body this is where our content holds we can have text in here image video whatever the key is that we have everything inside of this and also that we have no padding applied to it very important we have our Lottie icon right inside of our drop down click this is going to be animated along with the open and close and now let's get into IX2. You can see that we have our trigger right here on the dropdown trigger. This is the outer parent of that dropdown element. And we cannot have it on the click or the body or any other element inside of this component. Let me show you why. If we try to put it on the toggle here, this dropdown click class, and I try to apply the element trigger drop down opens, I can't select it. I don't have the option to select it. I can only apply it to this outer parent element drop down trigger. And you'll see that when I go to element trigger, I now have the option to select drop down opens. So we're going to apply this element trigger to our drop down trigger. And when we go inside, we have two timed animations one for menu opens and the other for menu closes and we have drop down close drop down open let's go into drop down open and see what we have going on first we have our drop down body with an initial state of zero pixels this is going to make sure that it is not visible on page load. We wanna see this content designer, we wanna be able to edit it easily, we want our clients to be able to edit easily, but when the site is launched, when the site is live, we don't want it visible. So initial state, zero pixels. And then on click, when we open, we are going to first zoom out so we can see what's going on. We have height, set to auto and that's going to open the drop down body to the size of the content within it you can see that we have three paragraphs in this and we have one paragraph in each of these setting it to auto is going to set it to a height that is automatic based on what's inside so we could have 20 paragraphs videos, we can have a whole library of videos, we can have one line of text. It's going to open up based on what's inside. So this is really flexible and you're not setting fixed pixel values here. If we set it to 100 pixels or 500 pixels, every single one of these would have to open to 500 pixels. So setting here to auto is very nice, very flexible. Here with our Lottie icon animation, we're going to animate it up to 40%. So opening up is going to animate. We start here with the plus, we're animating up, and you can see that we have this little tilt going on. You can see it, it goes a little bit further than a straight 90 degrees. 
and we go just a little bit further down, which has a nice little bouncing feel to it. And that's why we stopped at exactly 40. You can not have that bounce, just have it go a little bit more simple. But with the little bounce, I think it's cool. And to make sure that we are also following that style with the drop down body, we've set this to swing two. And you can see that when we open it, it kind of bounces. You can see that little bounce, nice. Totally cool, looks totally custom. Great, now let's go into drop down close. Let's see what happens when we collapse our FAQ. We're going to revert everything back to where it originally was. So we go to the drop down body. We're making this a height of zero pixels. And we're changing this one to ease. Too much swing, too much ease out back is gonna be a little bit too much for the user. So we're just giving it to them on one side of the animation. And then our Lottie is gonna go back to 0%. And Note that we are choosing only children with this class for all of the timed actions in here. We're doing it for the open and the close. And the reason is if we were to set this to all elements, it's going to open every single FAQ, every single body, every single Lottie icon. And we don't want that. We just want it for the FAQ that we are trying to open. So only children with this class has to be selected all across the board here. And that's it. That's how this works. That's how we expand and collapse the FAQs, have a nice little Lottie icon animation. And that is it. That's how you create a drop down icon, Lottie icon with drop down opens element trigger. That's effin' sweet.